Good morning, Cathedral. We hope you had a great weekend. I'm Kareem. And I'm Sharon with your morning announcements for Monday, January 13th. Night school registration for second semester has now begun. You can register online and pick up your permission form from the guidance office. Permission to attend night school must be obtained from Ms. Brotherston. Do you need help preparing for the Ontario Literacy Test? If so, you have until tomorrow to add your name to the sign-up sheet in the library to receive some extra help. Learn strategies to help you be successful on the literacy test, which is a high school graduation requirement. The Eco team is running a slogan contest for the hydration station poster. If you can think of a tagline that advertises using refillable water bottles, see Ms. Rouse in room 315 for our entry form. This is a reminder to all Health Action Committee members that you'll be meeting today after school in room 204. New members are always welcome to attend. This is an announcement for all boys interested in trying out for the boys indoor soccer. There will be trials held on Tuesday, January 28th at 7 p.m. and Wednesday, January 29th at 7 p.m. in our gym. There will be a sign-up sheet for a post. There will be a sign-up sheet posted outside of the room, outside of room 309 at period three. Today and sorry, today and all players trying out must fill in their information. If you have any questions or concerns, please see Ms. De Mr. DeClaudio, not Ms. Mr. DeClaudio. <laughs> Period 5 teachers are asked to please dismiss yeah. members of the Senior Girls Volleyball Team at 2 p.m. for their game today at ACMT. Thank you from Coach Bombardieri and Savas. And now I'll pass it over to Mr. Daly who has some important information regarding lockdown procedures. Good morning, Cathedral. Thank you, Kareem. Um, Okay, lockdown procedure, this is very important. We need to speak about this. We need to do a one practice before the end of the semester, and we're gonna do that tomorrow. So I need to uh, make sure we have everybody's attention here. A lockdown is initiated when deemed by the principal that uh, there is a potentially violent situation, very serious situation, such as hostages or terrorists. And in events like this, which are very rare, nevertheless, we have to be very prepared, and preparation is the key. So when the alarm sounds, here is the procedure. Classroom teachers should usher students into the classrooms out of the hallways, even if they're not their own students. Students should get to the nearest classroom and get into those classrooms. When you're in the classroom, students are supposed to, and teachers are directed to, to direct the students to get away from windows, get away from doors, turn off the lights, and basically the classroom should appear as if it's empty and the door is locked. In all terrible events that have happened across North America involving these situations, a locked door has never been crossed. And that's why it's so important to be behind the locked door. <clears throat> Students and staff are asked in, in all these events to stay off their cell phones. Uh, when a procedure was initiated at Bishop Bryan, that caused a real problem. The volume of traffic on the cell phones actually caused a failure. And that's a safety issue, so we're asking you in, in such an event that you stay off your cell phone. Okay? If you hear the sound, if you're a student and you're out in the public areas, so these are the places you don't want to be. They call them red zones. Uh, you don't want to be in the cafeteria. You don't want to be in the gymnasium. You don't want to be in the hallways or the library. So if you're in any of those places, you're to vacate them immediately and find the nearest classroom or the nearest place that's out of sight. Okay? If you're in the washroom, okay, the washrooms, what you would do is you'd get yourself into a stall, close and lock the door, and make like you're not there. We're going to have a little bit more information tomorrow, but in the meantime, I just want you to be familiar with the lockdown sound. So at this point, I'm going to ask Mr. Pustai, and this is just a, a test here. We're not going into lockdown. I'm going to ask Mr. Pustai to sound the alarm. Thank you. So in that event, you stay in lockdown until you are directed otherwise. Okay, and as with all emergencies and preparation, we hope and pray that these things never actually occur, but you must be prepared for all worst case scenarios. And just on a side note, please take all these things seriously. Although we're telling you we're going to have a drill, you cannot assume that it's a drill. Okay, and I would say that that happened on the fire drill the other day. We had some people assuming that that was a fire drill. They didn't take the fire drill seriously. Well, you, you don't know. 
Okay, and you don't know that there's not going to be a lockdown, so you have to take everything seriously. So we're going to ask that you participate in that drill. We're going to do it at some point tomorrow. That's as much heads up as we're going to give you. And uh, I'll be on tomorrow to tighten up any procedures. If anybody has any questions, please call my office at some point today. And I'll pass it back to the desk. Thanks, sir. And those are all of your announcements for today, Cathedral. Happy birthday goes out to Julia Kostichin and Tashe Williams from all your friends. <laughs> Have a good guys, and thanks for watching. Mark my words, just never make you levitate. Like a bird.